Well, hi guys and girls, welcome back to uh, Boat Restoration, but I've decided that I'm going to call this channel How Hard Can It Be? Because originally when I started this project, that's exactly what I thought. I thought, well, how hard can it be just to just do a bit of painting and just do a bit of cleaning up, modernising? Well, I was quite wrong because, as you can well see, well into the sixth episode, is it now, John? Seven about to go live. About to go live with the seventh one. As you can see, it's completely gutted. So yes, it's extremely hard to do because it's the first attempt, as you well know. So that's what we're going to call it. How hard can it be? Because it can lead on to other things. And I better get straight on to this one. So what has a roller lining paper, masking tape, scissors, and a sharpie got to do with the next bit. Well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Nope. Nope. What I'm going to do with it is I'm going to use this paper to put on here, here, the sides. I'm going to make a template. Therefore, I can then take it out of, her, out of the boat. I've got some eight before sheets of uh, oak ply, which I will show you later. And I'm gonna cut them out via the templates and hopefully I should have nice pieces of oak and a nice looking front end of the boat because we're now into November and the weather's turned. It's extremely cold now. So there's going to be no painting for quite a while because the paint side of things you have to use uh, or you have to put on the boat at a specific temperature. Uh, if I start heating this place up, it's going to blow all the dust. So it's going to be false economy by doing that. So I might as well now wait till early spring to do the top half of the boat. Uh, so there's no reason why I can't get cracking on the interior because it's well overdue and it's obviously it gives me the uh, it gives me that push to feel like this we've gone from the turning point of ripping this boat to pieces and we're now starting to put it back together so I think that's going to be the first bit and because the front end of this boat is already here there's no reason why I can't start doing what I'm doing which is templating so without further ado, I'm going to get cracking. So let's go. Okay, so, so what we've got here is I've used three sections of pieces of, uh, of lining paper and I've basically rough cutted them, uh, cut them into place uh, and managed to create the shape. And then I've masking taped them up uh, and then I've used my uh, marker pen to find out where the edges are all the way around and then I've just scored the edge along here and in my old days I used to do um, carpet and vinyl um, fitting uh, installations and I always used to uh, do darting which helped you find the line uh, on a curve especially with uh, vinyl and basically darting is obviously you'd use a Stanley knife but in this case you don't need one a pair of scissors and you just basically score you use the scissors up against the edge and you basically make a snip and the blade or the, uh, the scissor action never goes beyond the point of where the end of the piece of wood is that you're trying to create a line with so I need to show them that how to do that. So basically, you know, you've, we've got a curve, and obviously you've got uh, the the paper that I've rough cut it in, and then basically what you do is this will all be straight, and you literally just go like so. You're covering this up with your hand.
like that. And it's against it. And it it leaves a natural edge. And then obviously the paper then there's there's no stresses because you've you've broke the paper down and you end up with a nice curve and then you use your marker pen to uh, create the line and create the effect that you want. So that will then be taken off, put down there. I'll then cut it exactly to shape and uh, I will then cut it, um, uh, place them all on the uh, eight before sheets and uh, cut them out. I won't cut them out exact. I will leave maybe a couple of mil, uh, I'll make them a couple of mil larger because what I want to do is I'll want to sand the edges down so then I get a nice flush finish. Uh, I might have to put an edge on, I don't know yet, I've never done that before. Uh, but I think if I leave a couple of mil on it and then just sand it down to the exact edge that I want, then I can't, I, I don't think I'll go wrong. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've done that one, I'm going to get on with the next bit, which is the opposite side. So I'll get cracking. Okay, so as you can see, that side is now done as well. Uh, I've taken the liberty to do the back section there. I don't know whether the camera can get that, John. Uh, that face is done as well. So we've got three sections now done. Uh, and then it come, we're gonna come to the next bit, which is these large sections along here. So I'll take measurements of these, roll it out, and then rough cut um, long strips, I think. Um, get these out of the way, uh, and then I shall start uh, doing that. So have they been a long process? Uh, these, How long has it taken you to get to this stage? Uh, each side has probably taken me probably half an hour, right. would have thought. Yeah, so I've been doing it about maybe an hour and a half and I've, I've done what I, what I think is an acceptable job. Uh, I'm quite happy to cut based on what these are now. I'm, I'm quite happy to cut um, the, the ply up on these. Um, so I'm gonna get these now done, these two sides. So I shall start that. Let's go. It's a good start. Let's just zoom it out of it. There we go. That's more like it. Well, as you can see, I'm fiddling around with the camera because John's had to uh, shoot off and do some uh, normal everyday work. Uh, and he's left me with all his equipment. <laughs> Can't guarantee John it's gonna be in one piece when I finish with it. Anyway. I've got some work to do and I'm going to get this done. So I cut my piece of cardboard or paper down. This is uh, 1400 grade by the way. It's really tough and it's great for so it's, it's great for holding up this way. I've turned some collapse on myself. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it in real time and then obviously we'll, I'll skip that and we'll show you what I've done with the other side. But I'm going to get cracking with this and you can see what I, what I, how I do it. Uh, so I better get cracking. Uh, created a, a crease where the end of it is so it gives me an idea like so uh, I think what I'll do is I'll uh, 
put a notch in there. Where is the cylinder? I'll just put some uh, masking tape as holding tape every so often, I think, on this one. Okay, so there we go. We've got roughly where I want it to, uh, want it to be. Uh, so now it's a case of getting that true line above the, uh, uh, along the top. So I'm just going to snip along there with the scissors uh, to create a natural line. So then, obviously, the paper at the top here, as you get to the curved bit, it won't want to hug the the shape of. Um, the, that, that top section so uh, what I'll do is I'll snip it along and it just it just breaks it to where I want it to be so let's get snipping So to create this line, just put, let's put one more there, and one on an angle where the end is. To create a natural line, just bend these over. Push them into a right angle. And as you can see, I've already now created the exact shape and depth that's needed. I'll go with a marker pen there we go. Okay so marker pen I want to use uh, this pen to just go down. Uh, top, narrowed. Now that section of the back there, I don't know whether that's possible to see. Yes, you can. So there, I'm going to leave that section there for now because I'm going to bring the second piece and I'm going to do exactly the same on that side. And then I'm going to use uh, a line, which should just fit under there, will it? Yes, it will. Uh, that's got a, a bubble level on it, so I'll just create a line, I'll go down, I'll stick them both together, and then I'll know I'll have a true, uh, true line uh, that we can join the pieces together. The joint at the back shouldn't really be seen because you, you should be able to see from where you are that there is a, um, um, a tube sticking, or, uh, sticking out of the, the uh, bottom of this base. And there's a tube at the top which you won't be able to see. Um, that's where you fill the water tank, which is this hole here. So there'll be a tube there, and then I'm going to create, I'm going to make um, sort of a half moon shaped oak um, piece that will cover the a the tube and the joints and everything else that goes with it. Um, so you shouldn't be able to see anything behind there anyway. But there's no reason why I can't make it neat. That's what I'm going to do. So that was quite easy to do, a lot quicker than half an hour.
So I'll get cracking with the next side. Uh, How much battery life have we got left on here? Thirty percent. I think I'll. I think I'll keep you going. Just adjust the camera. pin that because it's not going to give me a true um, a true reflection of that curve so I shall pause you back on I'm just going to attach this Right, let's get this one on before the battery runs out. Okay, so, as you can see, that's done. All I have to do now is put uh, left hand side, top, and arrow it all the way along. But you notice I've put at the back there, I've put, um, I've joined the two together. Now, obviously I'm not gonna, I'll need to separate those at some point and um, uh, and then be able to, so then I'm able to cut them out. So what I'm going to do is, A, I'm going to draw a line down, but I'm also going to put some lines across so then I can marry the two up exactly where these, this black marker pen's going to um, show me exactly where to um, put it back. So it gives me, uh, it just generally gives me an idea on how to, if I have to put it back, that is. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, job done. So I think what I'll do that now is I shall remove these. Uh, and I might do these, these, these sections here. Now I've got a natural break at this point because in previous videos you may or may have not seen that there is, uh, this basically is the double bed at the front of the boat. Uh, and there is a cabinet that goes here. And it goes up against here and then goes along there and then up over there. In fact, it's actually, it's actually there where I've drawn a line. You can see a, a well, you may not be able to see. There's like a fade mark. So, all I need to do is uh, put some lining all the way up to about that point there. I'll take it to that point. If it's short, it's short. It doesn't really matter. Uh, because this part of the boat is going to be covered as well. I'm unsure whether I'm going to do it in the oak or I might slat it. I'm not too sure yet. It depends on... Well, A, it depends on how much wood I've got left. And B, whether... I've seen a few boats that have been done with some really nice... 
uh, a feature hardwood. The only question is, is that I might have, I've got to bend it. So whether I do it that way or not, I don't know. But I'm going to take a template anyway. While I'm in the mood for doing templating, I might as well. So that is the next stage. So I might switch you off for a minute because I know that battery's getting low. And although he has shown me the batteries, the, uh, up, the charge ones, he didn't show me how to change it. So I don't want to be breaking it now, do I? So I might just turn you off for a second. Hi, everybody. So this bit is quite hard. Um, I did have it all in one sheet to start with, um, but it just got too, um, it basically got too messy. So what I've done is I've, I've chopped this piece into two. The angle of the hull is shaped as you can see it. It sort of is angled uh, more on that po uh, at that point over there than it is over here. So as you lay this um, lining paper over it, um, it requires more width. So what I'm going to do is I'll mark up that section, then I'm going to place this over this section and then mark and butt up to that piece. Uh, I've got a little bit of a tab to put on that uh, in that corner because the uh, the lining doesn't, well I could pull it over but it's easier just to put a piece on because we're only needing it for a template purpose. Um, it's a very rough edge at the top where the fiberglass, uh, where both the hull and the tops are, uh, of the boat meet. It's quite rough under there, but I'm not overly bothered because uh, these sections together with that section, they're all going to be insulated anyway. So I'll have to put some um, slats on and then I can then put the uh, panel in if that's what I'm going to do. Uh, over it because I, I definitely want some insulation all the way down each side of this boat because uh, uh, without that it's going to be uncomfortable and a bit cold. Uh, so at the moment I've just put that piece on, I'm just going to put this piece on and then I'm going to mark it out as best I can. So I'll leave the camera running. So I think while I've got it in this rough state, I think I might, uh, it might be a good idea for me to uh, mark it up right now. Okay, so there we have it. Um, that'll do for now. Uh, I think I'll probably trim that down and just double check it again. Uh, but I'll just uh, see what we've got on this camera now. Okay, so the final piece of the jigsaw is these two sides. These were really difficult to do actually. Um, I tried to do them in one piece, uh, but that was not possible because the shape of the hull uh, stopped me from doing that. I was running out of paper on uh, both sides. So basically I've split them in half and shuffled them around and added pieces on. Uh, but overall I'm happy with um, uh, what what we've got now which is uh, a nice uh, mirror image of what's there so when we take those down there I can cut them out hopefully and have not uh, hopefully not have too much um, messing about and uh, uh, getting them to fit so I think that's uh, a great time now to uh, finish this episode uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. I hope uh, it's been um, informative for you. Um, uh, like I said to you before, the channel is going to be called How Hard Can It Be? Because basically that's what we're doing. We thought maybe, you know, we'll do a boat and we'll see where it takes us. Uh, so that's what the uh, new name of this uh, channel is going to be. Uh, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and click on the bell so then you get to see uh, or you get uh, told when the uh, new episodes are coming out and oh one more thing two shout outs to one my grandson which is uh, Lucas um, hiya and also uh, I went to uh, my sister-in-law's down or my ex-sister-in-law down in London and uh, I told uh, little Isaac that I'd give him a shout out so hi Isaac Hope you're watching. This is what your uncle's doing. 
uh, messing around with boats. So, see you later. Thank you very much. Bye.